Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out the best TAC-56 class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 20 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the video a bunch. Let's jump straight into today's attachments. To start us off with, I'm going to be using the TV Cardinal stock for aim walking speed and sprint speed. The cons are aiming stability. For the stock tuning, I'm going with negative 3.45. 8 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 2.01 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the demo clean shot grip, add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. For the rear grip tuning, I'm going with negative 0.87 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.38 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. For the ammunition, I'm adding bullet velocity. And the crazy thing is, you do lose damage range, but if you go into into the tuning, you can add damage range and you can add more bullet velocity, which is really, really good. Over on the underbarrel, I'm using the X10 Nexus grip, adds aiming auto stability, recoil stabilization, and the cons are aimed down side speed. With the underbarrel tuning, I'm going with negative 0 0.67 ounces to the weight to add aim down side speed and negative. 0 0.36 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Over on the barrel, I'm going to be using the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel. It adds damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The cons are aim down sight speed and hip recoil control. In the tuning, I'm going with 0.42 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and negative 0.31 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Now, with this class setup, this is close to the pro class setup, or the ranked play class setup. This is arguably probably the best AR in the game, other than, I think, the cast of 545, or 74U, my bad. The 74U is really, really good, but I don't even consider this an AR. It's more like an SMG to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I will have an MGB for you guys. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, we're going to be checking out the TAC-56, arguably one of the best ARs in this game. Yeah, like it absolutely fries. We're going to have a bunch of clips in the very beginning. They're just going to run right through here. One's above me. Where did he jump? Okay. <clears throat> Gotta make sure we don't lose these spawns. So I am gonna go up here. See, look, that guy knows what he's doing. He's trying to get these spawns. We are going to stop him. Why is everybody peeking right there? Oh, my 
requesting recon at this area. time. I think they're a little mad. Like a little slide to be into. Seven. There's the nuke right there. It's still in there. It's definitely a lot better than that last game. A little bit longer too. Finally died. It's just kind of hard to find people that actually can get to the hill. Wanna play objective? I'm gonna let him go over there. Oh man. I want them to spawn in the back over here. Just not spawning over here, bro. I just called in the. Oh man, what am I doing? It's all good. Four kills. Hope you guys enjoyed. GG's.